Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Nikki and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this fall faux freckle bushy brow warm tone look. So if this is something that you're interested in, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Oh, I have to let my beauty blender catch on it. Okay guys, to start off, I have already moisturized my face with my simple moisturizer. This is a dupe to me for the Clinique Moisture Surge and it's like a fraction of the price. I love this stuff, it is so freaking good. Now I'm going to take my Aquaphor and put that on my lips. I have to put a chopstick on my lips because it's getting colder so I've been using this Aquaphor on my lips and it is honestly saving my life. My lips feel so moisturized and so good highly recommend. So I have not done my eyebrows. Usually I start my videos with my eyebrows done, but I've been doing them a little bit different because the fluffy brow is in. So I wanted to show you guys how I achieve my version of the fluffy brow. It's not mastered and it's not perfect, but it looks good in photos. It looks good in real life. Hopefully it looks good during filming. So starting off, I am taking my NYX micro brow pencil and first i'm just gonna use the spoolie to groom my brows and then i'm gonna go in with the pencil i'm making sure to apply the most pressure at the back of my brow and the least pressure towards the front strokes now I'm gonna take my benefit give me brow I think this is in the shade number five I'm just gonna brush this through my brows if you don't know what a gimme brow is it has brow fibers in there so it makes your brows look more fluffy now that I'm done with that I'm gonna take my NYX control freak brow gel and I'm just gonna comb that through my hairs to set them in place then finally I'm gonna be taking my tardius liquid liner in the shade brown and I'm just gonna draw light hair strokes And that's just to add dimension to the brow. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean it up using my Tarte Shape Tape. And then I'm just going to put some on my lid and my inner corner. And with my Flower Beauty sponge, I'm going to blend that out. Now my eye is ready for shadow, but before I do that, I'm going to do the other eye offline and I will be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done and my eyes are ready to go and they are primed. So today I'm going to be using the new-ish Morphe Boss Mood Palette. So to start off, I'm going to be going in with this. This is like a tan white shade and I'm going to be putting that all over my crease. The next shade I'm going to go in is with this chocolatey brown shade and I'm going to start to blend that into my crease. Okay, you guys, no, cancel. I'm taking this off. I thought I could make that shimmery shade work, but it's it's not going away, so I'll be right back. Okay, starting over, I'm going to dip into this color right here, and I'm slowly just going to start blending that into my crease. I feel like this palette is definitely missing a lighter shade because this is already too dark for what I want. Now on a Luxie 213 T brush, I'm going to go back in with the same exact color. And I'm going to put that on my lids. And I'm going to start to angle out my V. Because we're going to do a smoky wing. So I'm going to prep it. Now I'm going to start to smoke out my eyeliner. We're going to start off slowly and I'm going to go into this angled brush. This doesn't have a brand, it's just from Walgreens. We're going to dip into this color right here and start to wing out our shadow like so. You want to kind of flick it up because it is going to be smoky so you want to blend it in. I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush. This is a Makeup Shack T81 brush. It's like a small blending brush. I'm just going to make sure that that is blending up. Now I'm going to dip back into that color and start to go over my lash line right here just to mimic a wing. Now we're going to dip into this even darker brown here. I'm going to do the same thing, except we're not going to blend it up as much. 
You want to keep it lower just to replicate a wing. With the same makeup shaft brush, we're just going to blend right here on the lower part of the lid and the lower part of the crease. Keep it very small and light. I do want to mention that I am getting some fallout. That doesn't bother me because I do my foundation after my eyes, but if you're somebody who does your foundation first, that is something that you do want to note about this palette. Okay, so I was filming this side when my camera wasn't actually recording. It said recording, but it wasn't recording. So I'm going to show you how to do this on the other eye instead of this one. So I'm sorry if it's harder to see on the other eye. But I'm going to do my best. To start the wing, I'm going to dip into this matte black right here. I'm going to start to draw out the wing. Hopefully you guys can see this. And then start to fill it in. And then for the lash line, I do like to just stamp on the black. I just find that it's easier for me that way. And then out here, I'm going to start to flick it up without adding any extra product. Just going to flick that up with whatever's left over. Then I'm going to go back in with my Makeup Shack T81 brush. That's the small blending brush. I'm just going to blend that in very lightly. I'm applying little pressure as possible. I'm going to go back over here and kind of just go over it. Not dragging it up, but just smoking it out. And then going back in with my Makeup Shack T50 brush, I'm just going to make sure that the lighter colors are blended out here. Then going back in with my Makeup Wipe, I'm just going to remove all of the fallout. And straighten out this line. Now to prime, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. For foundation, I'm taking my Born This Way foundation. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to blend that out. For concealer, I'm taking my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I also top it with some Tarte Shape Tape. So what I do differently now is I used to set my under eyes with translucent powder, but I really like a lower smoked out lash line, so to get the most pigment, I'm not going to set my lower lash line. I'm going to start off with the first shade that we used earlier, and I'm just taking this on the Luxie 213 T brush. Next, we're going to take this deeper brown here, and I'm going to get that closer to the lash line. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to take my tardiest double take liner and fill that in. Okay, so now that we have this nice smoky eye look, I do want to do more color on my lower lash line because I kind of want to blend it in with my blush. I'm going to be taking this orange right here. And for this, I'm going to be using a Makeup Shack T12 brush. I'm kind of blending it down towards my cheek area. And again, I'm doing this without setting my face so I get maximum pigment. And I'm going to add that to my nose area because it's looking a little bit naked. Okay, so before I go in and set my face and start using a bunch of powders, I'm going to go ahead and add some faux freckles. I know there's people that love this and there's people who absolutely hate this. I'm somebody who loves it. And I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm going to go ahead and use my Tardis Double Take Liner in the shade Brown. I'm just going to kind of dot them on lightly. And then take my finger over them. So they're not as pigmented. Plus they are going to die down once I start adding powders. So I want them to be very light.
So in the inner portion, I'm doing more closer together and then the farther I go out, the more separated I'm going to make them. Do them on my nose. And also a good thing about patting them in with your finger is that some gets on your finger so you're adding lighter dots as you go which I think makes it look really pretty. So now I'm going to go in with my translucent powder and I'm taking this Equal Tools Fluffy Kabuki Brush. kind of have that much on there. This is the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. It is in a Kat Von D packaging because I like that packaging better but it's not the locket setting powder, it's the, the other one. So I'm just lightly setting my skin. Now that my face is set, I'm going to add some more freckles just so that they're a different color. And some are darker and some are lighter. Still pressing them in. Now I'm going to go into contour and I'm going to take my shade and light palette and go in with the obviously two most used shades in the palette. And I'm going to start to contour. Blending that right into the orange shade that I previously set down. Now going into my jawline and my forehead. Then I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to dip just a little, really tap off the excess and go into my nose contour. Now I'm going to take the middle light shade and start to carve out my contour. And I like to drag that into the middle of my face just to brighten up a little bit. So now I'm going to jump into blush. This is the brand Bang Beauty. My friend got it in her Ipsy bag and she gave it to me. This is kind of peachy tone and since I put the orange under my eyes I want to go in with a peachy tone this is like the only one I have. I'm going to dip that in. I'm just going to pat that in my skin. I want to look like super heavy blush and I think I think I'm satisfied and I'm definitely going to add that on my nose. I'm going to put some down here, just kind of even out and up here. Now I'm going to take some bronzer. I'm going to take the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm going to take this on a Moda Pro BMX 130 pointed blush brush. And just apply that everywhere that I put blush. And this is just to further warm up my cheeks. I like this blush because it's not super pigmented, but you can still tell that it's there. I'm going to add that up here and down here. I'm also going to use that to blend out my contour on my jawline. Alright, for my highlights, I want to do something that's a little more pinky. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier. This is their Mineral Illuminating Powder in the shade Candlelight. This is a loose powder, kind of like their loose translucent powder, but it's just a highlighter and I'm gonna be using a Makeup Shock T11 highlighter brush I'm gonna spray it with my NYX dewy finish setting powder I mean setting spray just gonna spray that on there start to highlight or right, I'm bringing it on the apple of my cheeks just because I love to look dewy and then, of course, whatever's left over, I'm putting it on my forehead and my temple. Look at that. That is so freaking pretty. Now, with whatever is left over, I'm just going to put that on the bridge of my nose. I'm kind of over the overly done nose highlight, but I still want it there. So, I just added my Anastasia and Amrezy highlight to my brow bone and my inner corners. And now I'm going to put on mascara, or I'm going to curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then apply my Makeup Shack Dubai lashes off camera, and I will be right back. 
So for my lips, I kind of want to do a metallic lip. I know that people don't like metallics, but uh, I do. So this is the Lime Crime Metallic Lipstick in the shade Lana, because that's my bitch. Oh, should I line my lips? Yeah, I should line my lips. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to take my NYX Nude Lip Liner. I'm just going to line my lips. Now I'm going to go in with this Lime Crime Velveteen Metallic, I don't even know what it's called, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lana. Oh, this is so pretty. You definitely have to layer this to get the most pigment. Like I had to go over this three times, but look at this shade, you guys. This is so cute. So yeah, I am going to go change and I'll be right back oh i forgot to tell you guys i did set my face with my nyx dewy finish spray and i sprayed my face before i applied my lashes just because i don't want the water to go on my lashes you know what i mean but yeah i did set my face with some nyx dewy finishing spray but yeah you guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like it down below and also subscribe to my channel because it just makes me so happy thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you next sunday bye